Oops, I need one more. I went blurry. The triumphant return by members of Kettle and Stony Point First Nations to the former Camp Ipperwash was marred when a native protesting the agreement accidentally set himself on fire. The protester's name is Pierre George. He's the brother of Dudley George, who was fatally shot by an OPP officer in the 1995 standoff at the camp. George is a member of a faction of natives who opposed a $90 million settlement with the federal government. Moments before the fire, he told reporters he was trying to get the government's attention. He, he could have probably put a halt to that down there and says, hey, yeah, let's check this out. But he did it. With the march heading towards the camp, the rival factions of natives argued about the deal. Tell me why you're making it. Because, for the simple fact, man, that you or even yourself on those negotiating tables, yeah. right? We're f***ing settling for f***ing nothing, really, right? Yeah. And it doesn't even matter about that, we because we can make back. this place here our back. own. This is, this is a beginning. This is from f***ing pioneer shit. We can, we can teach our children something f***ing different. We can do everything different. Who is the us in that? Huh? Who is the us in We're that? us, all of us. But you said we were there. We were going were there. Here. Whoever was here. All right? Whoever was here wasn't with us. They were over here, and we don't know who was there, so it's them. So I, they were Isn't that clear? If we were coming down the road, you and I, and there was a big accident. I understand, but, like, on what lines is the division in the community? I'm trying to understand. I am, too. Earlier in the day, as the parade formed, band members spoke about their feelings returning to the camp. I'm really excited. I'm super excited. I've waited for this day for years. And I thought, come on, Graham, what better way to have it all in one day, right? So it's going to put closure for all of us. I was taken away from here. Our house was uprooted. And my scene, when I came home from school, it was up on a moving truck. They didn't ask us or nothing. They just come and took us. And I seen my dad crying. And all we got was nothing. For Post Media Network, this is Morris Lamont.